It turns out the Little Mermaid remake was a bigger failure for Disney than we imagined. As you can see right here, this is proof that the Little Mermaid remake is a huge box office flop, a huge disaster for Disney. This report comes to us from Bounding Into Comics, and as you can see right here, the Little Mermaid production budget soars to nearly $300 million. That is more than double its losses at the box office. Now, I'm not going to get into the math here because I'm going to get a bunch of nerds in here. Oh, well, you know, it still made money. It made $500 million. Listen, this movie needed at least 800 mil to break even. And that is a fact, Jack. You can go crunch the numbers on your own. If you read this article, right? And this is the important part. This is what I want you guys to understand right here. It states it right here. This movie, The Little Mermaid Remake, it is estimated that it has lost up to $127 million. That is, that is a huge loss. I mean, we're not talking about peanuts here, ladies and gentlemen. That is a huge loss for Disney. I've covered it here before. Disney has lost nearly a billion dollars, if not a billion dollars already, this year alone. Again, Disney, in the box office, has lost close to, if not, a billion dollars in the box office. That is unheard of when we're talking about Disney. Seriously, it used to be that Disney was printing money, right? If Disney was coming out with a movie, whether it was animated or, you know, a Pixar movie, a live action, you know, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and whatnot, it was going to print money, billion dollar movie, guaranteed. Guaranteed. But now, this is what they're doing. Losing $127 million. That is unheard of. And listen, we know why. We know why this movie was a failure, right? We know why. It was cringy as hell. It made stupid changes that didn't need to be made. It changed the ending of the story to where Prince Eric did not save Ariel. Ariel saved Prince Eric, right? I mean, that's just one huge change they made. They made others, and, and quite frankly, Disney chose to push out the identity politics, push out the agenda, shove the agendas on you and your children. And as a result, you said no. No, thank you, Disney. We're going to stay home. We're going to wait until this one drops in the $5 bin at Walmart. And even then, some people are still not buying it. I think I saw a video the other day with some looters. You know, they love looting Walmarts now. Some looters were running by, stealing televisions, diapers, you name it. I saw one of them, literally, I'm telling you, I saw one of them pick up a DVD of The Little Mermaid Literally tossed it aside. He said, no, I'm good. That's how bad this movie is, that looters don't even want to loot this movie. I mean, it's a terrible movie. It's a terrible movie. Now, I know there's some people out there that enjoy it, right? I, I mean, myself, I've, I've seen bits and pieces, haven't really sat through the entire thing, but I can see why some people like it. I really do. It's not a bad movie, but... What is bad is Disney using these movies to push out the agendas on our children. And as a result, that's why these movies are failing. Make no mistake about it. You can have a great movie. But the second that these studios believe that it is their responsibility to teach your children how this world should work, what they should believe in, what's right and what's wrong. And as soon as they start doing that, you can bet your bottom dollar and, you know, Disney's $127 million, that they are going to fail. 100%. They're always going to fail. Always. Because it's not about the money, ladies and gentlemen, both for them and for us. It's about the principle. That's why Disney feels like it's okay to lose 100 mil here, 100 mil there, because they feel that eventually they're going to erode your beliefs as a parent. That's the goal, right? But I know that you are stronger than that. We are stronger than that. We see through these lies. We see through what Disney is trying to do. And as a result... We are pulling back our money. We're not going to the theme park. We're certainly not going to go see their movies, right? You can see it right here. And we are not going to support them. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think down in the comments. And like always, don't forget to subscribe. Sensational.